All right, here we go. So this one's going to be very simple, very quick. I think it's about three minutes. So count it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening up a file dialog box that will pick a file to save or open or do whatever you want. Basically identify the file that you pick. First things first, uh, we're going to need to find FSO. FD is object. We're going to find our file name is string. We're going to set our FSO as create object, uh, bracket with quotation scripting dot file system object. Next thing is we're going to set our dialog box. We're going to use the file picker, so MSO uh, file picker. So application dot file dialog, MSO file dialog file picker. It's a mouthful. <laughs> but it's okay, you know, we're, this is, it's all part of the game. <laughs> okay, so what this is going to do is uh, fdd.show, it's going to show the file dialog box and it's going to equal negative one. Basically, if something is selected, we're going to get, we're going to continue. If it's not selected and the end user selects cancel, it's going to end our if which then saves us from you know stuff bugging out people saying oh man your program doesn't work like no it does work like it's just there's a small issue like don't worry about it okay so file name equals the selected items one uh, we're just using one as a default you can do multi select feature with your uh, your FD or your file dialog and you can select multiple items. So what you can do is you can do items.count and then from there get the file name. This one's very simple. It's just one item. We're going to run through it. We're going to select our item. Um, this one's just a regular random file. It's pretty much a whole bunch of gibberish. And boom! Open! There you go. So what we've done in short with a very brief set of code is we have taken the file that we selected through an open dialog box and then remembered it and then used it to open the file that we selected. Now this is just one last little thing to show you that you can connect this to a button from an Excel sheet or um, a user form to create an application for all those business analysts out there. Congratulations, it's one ugly user form.